Hello everybody, uh, welcome to today's little video. Um, so today we're going to be looking at the Alien Magic Wave Shampoo. So this is their wash and wax shampoo. So we're going to uh, clean the wife's car today as it hasn't been washed in well over a month now. It is, yeah, it's just pretty dirty really. Uh, there's no protection on it whatsoever so it's a good opportunity to see what this wash and wax shampoo can do. What we'll do is we'll do the normal quick walk around on the car, show you how dirty it is, and then we'll get on and wash it. So what I think I'll do is I'll just pressure rinse it off. I won't snow foam it or anything. I'll literally just, um, yeah, just pressure it, wash it off. And then we'll go straight in with the contact wash and dry it and see what this kind of uh, does, shall we? So let's get on with it, shall we? Let's pop out and have a look at the car. Right guys, uh, so we're going to start with the wheels. Uh, I wasn't going to film this, and I'm probably still not, but these are absolutely filthy look. So what I wanted to do was try this again on these dirty wheels, just to see if you do get any visible bleeding effect. So if you've watched my previous video, you'll know, videos, my previous video on this stuff, you'll know that I wasn't massively impressed with it, it didn't really bleed. So. We can leave that on there for a couple of minutes, switch this off, we'll come back and uh, yeah, see what effects have on these dirty wheels. So that's now been soaking for a good three or four minutes. Uh, you can see that it's definitely starting to react. If you look on the, I know it's difficult to tell really on a grey wheel. Probably wasn't the smartest move to do it on this wheel to be fair. And uh, this car rather, but never mind. Uh, but no, you can see it's doing something. So we'll just give it a rinse off and see kind of, yeah, how, because I know this works really, really well actually as a wheel cleaner. That needs a bit more of a rinse, but obviously I'm going to wash these wheels now anyway. So, um, but you can still see that where it's been. Nothing. Does a if you wanted to use it just as a wheel cleaner, it does seem to do quite a good job. Obviously, if you'd agitate that, then yeah, obviously you're going to get more dirt off. But obviously I don't. So, uh, yeah, we'll give we'll give all the wheels a wash now, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll move on to the next bit. Right guys, so the wheels have come up all nice and clean, so that's all four done now. I have actually rinsed the car down, but because there's no protection on it, some of these lower panels, particularly down here, the grime wasn't coming off. So I've literally just given this a, a quick spray with a, a citrus on the lower panels. So what I'll do, bring that around to see my beautiful face. So, well not beautiful, it's a case maybe. Back of the car. Um, yeah, so I'll just rinse it off now, and then we'll um, get a bucket of water, and we'll start seeing what this uh, what this shampoo can do. So uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, in a, yeah, in a, yeah, in a minute. Right. Ooh. So before we get into the uh, actual washing, I just sort of show you the water behaviour on the car before, just so you know there isn't anything on it. So as you can see there. on the bonnet as well absolutely nothing right let's mix this shampoo up hi right, guys so i hope you can see that so the instructions say excuse the wind which you can probably hear in the, uh, the microphone um yeah so you can dilute this down to one part product of 500 parts water so there's i've only got 10 liters water in the bucket today so it's 10 liters at that ratio that's 20 ml of product which is that Right, I will apologise in advance for the wind you will hear, but the wind is picking up today. I think there's rain on the way, so I best hurry up and get wifey's car washed. Fairly. 
it fits to that. I know it's difficult to tell with a white one. Are washed now, so we just got to rinse it off, and hopefully, we should be able to see when it's rinsed off a little bit of water behavior returning to the car. Well, that's a big fun now, then, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I can't see any wax on that. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll get the car rinsed off and uh, yeah, then we'll come back. Right, so the car is now all rinsed down and I'm going to spray the bonnet now just to show you. So it's a wash and wax, so in my mind that should leave some sort of protection behind. By protection, I would hope to have seen some sort of water behaviour difference from the wax that was left. And I know it's a white car, and I'm hoping you can see it, but that to me looks exactly the same as it did um, before I washed it. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Let's have a recap in the man cave. Okay, guys, so what do we think? So, A Magic Wave Wash and Wax Shampoo. So, what do we like? Um, it is a good shampoo to use. I'm not going to knock it for that. I mean, I used it at the dilution ratio they said is there kind of up to so they basically say you can dilute it one part 500 parts water so that's what we did there I think if I was going to do it again I would up that concentration so I would probably use more product just to see um, yeah to see how that performs I was a bit let down by what I would class as the wax additive in it I didn't see any protection being left behind so I don't know whether the wax additive in it is to give it just an extra shine and not really give it any water protection. So yeah, need to probably need to revisit this again, I think, and I will up that concentration and see how it um, see how it performs. But even at the, its weakest, it, it yeah, it stood it up lovely. There was plenty of suds right to the end. It stayed fresh in the bucket, no problems at all. Um, and it smells nice. It smells nice in the bottle. It didn't smell nice as you didn't really notice the smell, should I say, when you were washing the car. It's um, it's got a very appley scent in the bottle, which isn't very strong. And every now and again, I got a whiff of it, but not that much. So I'd say if I was using a higher concentration, then I probably would get more. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. Next time I use this, I'll up the concentration and see how I get. But for now, definitely a good shampoo. Do like it. Definitely does what it says on the tin. So there we go you guys as always make your own minds up as to whether you would um yeah whether you rate that or not um so if you've used it as always leave me a comment below that's always great to know and uh, and that's it guys so that wraps this one up so yeah Ooh, loads of stuff coming up i haven't really bought anything new to be fair so i can't really show you anything new so we need to go through all this other stuff that i've been barking on about so i need to get some of that used up so thank you very much guys so i hope you enjoyed that as always give us smash the likes uh, and the thumbs up and uh, if you're new here please subscribe it's always great to see the the count go up and uh, and stay safe and we will catch you on the next one so have a good week guys